Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have another project to share with you today. This is just a quick little, I don't know what you call these, but a card folio <laughs> something. Again, it could be just used as a card and you could put gift cards in there or um, just a quick little folio as a nice um, little gift. But I used the pad that I had gotten from Tuesday morning. I don't know if I ever like had shared this with you guys. I just got it um, really quick, but they had a lot of Echo Park pads in there. It's called Christmas Delivery, which this was also for Cartabella. I know it's the same parent company, but I do have the Cartabella Christmas Delivery. It's So it's the same patterns, but just the thicker paper. Um, Echo Park is the it doesn't have like the ridges in it. I don't know what it's called, but it's a really cute paper collection. And like I said, I have some of it. Um, but the funny thing is, so there's Echo Park Christmas Delivery. This is an example of Cartabella's Christmas Delivery. And I don't know that you can see it, but it just has a little bit of a texture to it. So it's that, and like I said, it goes together. And then in my stash, I was getting confused because I also have things from A Perfect Christmas from Echo Park, which is the same stuff. <laughs> so I guess they really liked it too and just wanted to keep, I, I don't know, renaming it. I don't know, but so I have a lot of things to go with this, which was great. But I just wanted to do this little project here. So it's a six by six and I did it just with a 12 by 12 sheet and I'll show you in a second. Really easy to do. Um, if you want a tutorial, I can do one. But again, this is so simple. So on the front here, I just layered up the three by four card, popped it up, um, cut half of a doily there. And then I used my um, velvet ribbon and just attached it like that added a bow, some flowers from my stash, and then this is, I wanna say this is a Martha Stewart uh, punch, I believe. And then just some of the, um, uh, there's a page that has all these different designs, I'll show you. But I have the 12 by 12 version, so I just fussy cut it out. So it looks like that. And I use it just to cut things out, and then I back it on cardstock. So it opens up like this. So you have that where you can put a photo and then you have this side. Um, and I just, again, just took some of the elements from that sheet and fussy cut them out. And I did use uh, my black distress ink on everything. And this is just a little belly band, which I'll show you here. So you can tuck something in there, a picture, but it's just a quick little project to give to somebody. Uh, so here you could do a photo, or this is where you can write your sentiment, your little note to a person. And then I just did a double pocket. So this is the 12 by 12, scored at six on both sides. This piece I turned into the two pockets. So literally, I just took, what is it, two and a half in, the other piece was three and a half. So that's what, um, that's how I did the pocket and just glued it down. So I didn't do a gusset. You can, if you wanna add um, a gusset inside for, so the pockets are deeper, but I just wanted it to close really nicely. So I just glued the all three sides down here and then just did some of the cut aparts. Just as I add in here, this is one of the cut aparts. It's just the back. And then I did a little photo mat with some of the scraps. So again, you can just, it's just a quick little folio um, that you can give somebody, but a really simple project. And it's great for the six by six pads. So literally one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, cut out a square, and then you can make your pockets. You could do one pocket or two pockets, totally up to you. And then it just folds like that and it folds over. You can do a tie closure if you want, a magnetic closure, but you could see it folds pretty good. And then this is the back of it. 
so like that. There you go. And I did use some of my scraps from that. And I don't know how I could show you, but I've never done a wine tag before. And I thought I'd try it and see. I don't know, I thought it turned out kind of cute, but it was perfect for the strips that I had left from the um, projects I did with this. And I had just did it. This is two, let me see. I think it is two and a half. Maybe it's two and a quarter. If I can get my ruler out. And it's stuck. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Okay, let's see. How much noise can I make on this video? A lot. Yeah, two and a half by eight. But there's a lot of tutorials out there. You could do these all different ways, but I just thought it was fun. You guys know I love to figure out ways to use up scraps so I don't waste anything. But I just thought these were cute. And then I just did a little stamp. You can emboss this in white, but I didn't feel like doing all that. <laughs> so I just used my white ink and stamped that on there. But I don't know. I thought it was cute. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I might try a couple more. Maybe get a little bit better at it. But again, it was a nice, fast little project. So hopefully you guys liked it. So give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. So that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.